Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm going to address the bat in the room. I got new ears. They are uh, bat ears that we paid $2 for at Walmart after Halloween was over because that's what we do. We On November 1st, we go early and we buy lots of candy and lots of Halloween decorations for 50% off. It is great. I love it. I got a lot of cool stuff. Um, I bought a lot of stuff thinking that I could use it for accessories for costumes, either with cosplay or with like stuff we do next year. So got a lot of cool stuff. But at the same time, I was like, why do a haul video for it when like one, everything's probably gonna be gone by the time we get it posted and two, like Halloween's over. So that's why we didn't do a haul video for it. But I did want to show off my bat ears. I definitely, with my purple hair, look like Whimsy from Whimsy's house. I do have my fancy little bat ears on. And today we're gonna do a dual first impression. We're gonna jump into this dual first impression. I'm calling it a dual first impression because it's two totally different products, two totally different brands for two totally different areas of the face. One of them is a face palette and that's gonna take me all of like two minutes to apply. And so I didn't wanna give it a whole first impressions on itself. And then the other one is an eyeshadow palette. We'll start first with the Lime Crime Sun Kissed Face Palette. So that's what the outside looks like. I'm struggling. It's like got a really good magnet. And that's what the inside looks like. So this is a face palette that is um, very Lime Crime. If you know anything about Lime Crime, it's a very niche brand. Their highlighters are a lot of like crazy colors. So it makes sense that they would release a face palette that has a, um, a bronzer, a very peach orange, almost like light pumpkin shade in cheek color, and then a lot of vibrant highlighters, including that very eye-catching golden hour, which is like a straight yellow. Now today, because I'm testing stuff and I'm just gonna go for it, I think I'm actually gonna use golden hour, even though my hair is purple, my shirt is blue, and my eye color is going to be red. We're just gonna go for it. But yeah, I'm gonna use the bronzer, the cheek shade, and the uh, golden hour highlighter, and we're gonna see what kind of a, a mess I can make on my face. So let me get my uh, my mirror in, in here, and uh, let me get this all situated. Now, as we're filming this, who knows with the release, when this will wind up coming up. I'm just being honest. We've got like a couple hauls that I think are still backlogged that we haven't posted yet that I did like a month ago. We have a couple other tutorials. Ooh, I did not, oh my gosh, what was I doing there? The lighting in my room is super bad and I did my foundation and everything first and apparently I did not blend any of that in, so, <laughs> oops. But anyway, I don't know when this is gonna get posted. That being said, right now it's the beginning of November, so I'm thinking about like Black Friday and the Ulta deals and all that. I know Target released their Black Friday ad this morning, uh, which is, it's November 6th, so that's like three weeks early. Low key, I'm hoping that Ulta's gonna do that soon. I'm hoping that they can kind of release it a little bit earlier, because I would really like to be able to do a video where I talk about like, hey, these are the deals that I think are good. Hey, you know, this is what you should try and pick up if you can get it, that kind of stuff, and, and, Honestly, I live for Ulta's Black Fridays. Like I said, I normally put in, um, like I said, not today, but in past videos, I normally put in a couple orders. That way I can get some of the free gifts that they uh, they pop up, which I'm gonna definitely try and do this year, just depending on what they're offering. Cause getting extra free gifts is always good for the giveaways and stuff like that. But yeah, nice bronzing shade as I was rambling. Um, I did do that. It blended in really nicely. It's not too crazy out there. It's really something that I like for my contour. It gives you definition without being like too hard to blend out or too crazy muddy, um, which I think is a, the big issue I have with a lot of like the true contour palettes is they wind up just making me feel muddy and that's not what I want. So I really like that. It's um, a nice little simple bronzer and it's a nice thing to have, like especially if you bring this kit with you and you're like, hey, let me bronze really quick. So now I've got that nice, um, this is called Sizzle and uh, it kind of looks like, it really kind of looks like if you took like a little bit of ketchup and you mixed it with like a little bit of mustard. So I'm gonna be a hot dog. Oh, it's bright. Oh yeah, oh ho ho, oh goodness. I mean, I know what I was expecting with this palette and I know what I'm expecting from Lime Crime, so I'm not shocked by it and it is a really pretty color. Do I think I may look a little clownish today with the different colors I'm going to do? Yeah, but am I gonna stop myself from doing it? No. It's pretty though, it's like a really pretty color. I think truthfully, this is going to be best for summertime when you're going like bright colors and you want like kind of rosy cheek looked and maybe like a nice neutral eye arguably and this is probably when i'm gonna use it is during the holidays when everything is red tinted and i want to feel like oh i got some nice like rosy cheeks i'm probably gonna do this color a couple times that's what i'm thinking other people would probably disagree with me they'd be like this is clearly a summer palette and uh you're stupid for using it that way and if i am yeah I okay i'm stupid then but yeah i like it i do i like it it's um it's definitely not like 
hey, I'm going to just like throw on some makeup and look subtle today. This is like a, hey, I'm going to make a statement. But I think, I think if you know Lime Crime and you know anything about Lime Crime, that's what they market themselves are as. They are, they're a company that is known for uh, making statement makeup. And that's kind of why I like them. Now we're going to go in with our final touch from this palette. It is Golden Hour. It is very yellow, if you guys can see it on the brush. And... Oh gosh, oh gosh, it is very golden. It's almost like a chunky glitter though. Like I can't explain it. It's not going on like, it's going on like a chunky highlighter. It's pretty, it's very pretty. It's not that it's not pretty. It's just a lot chunky. It's a lot thicker than I, I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be more of like, you know, that nice holographic dusting of, of shimmer shades that you often find in a highlighter and that's not really what it is. But actually when it's all blended out, it's much more subtle. It's almost, I'm almost having trouble seeing it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. And that may not be a bad thing with it. <sighs> it's not what I was expecting. I'm a little disappointed with the highlighter, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the other colors may be a little bit better. In fact, the the um, Basque and the Sundays, which is the pink and the purple shades, they look like they're a different texture. They may not be when I text my test them out, but like that, they look like they might be a little bit more of that like powdery finish rather than the chunky glitter finish. So um, we'll see. But this is so this is what we're looking at right now with just the Lime Crime face palette. You can see. I did it very quickly, but I mean, that's about as much time as I normally take on my face stuff anyway. I like it, aside from the like the slight disappointment I have in the highlighter, I really do like it. Uh, it was on sale, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was not what they normally charge for it. I think I paid like $26 maybe or something. So for a Lime Crime product, I was not uh, too disappointed in the price. And then I also had a 20% off coupon. So uh, would I recommend it at full price? Probably not, but it does have some uh, nice, the, the blush and the bronzer itself are worthwhile. And um, then you get the highlighters as well. And I've only tested one color, so it may be a great palette aside from the yellow that disappointed me just a touch. So, okay, so cheeks and everything are done. We are moving into our second product. And this one I'm very excited about. I have seen a lot of reviews on this line. There's a couple palettes in it, and I only picked up one of them because I, I it was the one that I had the most shades that I really loved in it. And I really loved them. Like I saw this palette and I was like, I want that right now. Um, the other ones are pretty, uh, but this is just like, this is the one that really spoke to me. So this is the Makeup Revolution Precious Stone in the palette Ruby. I think they have an emerald and maybe a sapphire one too. It is just the packaging on it. I mean, it is, Makeup Revolution is a very affordable brand. I tested their products out for the first time a while ago. I bought several palettes. Uh, one of them I bought to give away and I was absolutely blown away blown away by the quality of it. This is a $15 palette. I did have a 20% off coupon, so I paid $12 for this palette. I'm just being honest. I, I don't know a better quality palette for 12 bucks. I haven't used this one yet, but if it's anything like the ones that I have uh, purchased from in the, them in the past, then I got a pretty doggone good deal for it. As you guys can tell, it is that, that same kind of color scheme that I normally go for. The reds, the pinks, the oranges, the, the nice neutral kind of blending pink shades. I don't know why that is me so much, but it just, every time I see a palette like that, I love it. I see aesthetically other palettes like blues and stuff like that and I go, oh God, they're beautiful, but I just know that I won't use them enough. So that's why I always purchase these. That is why this is the only one that I purchased from this collection so far. It's not that I don't want the others. It's that at some point I have to limit myself. So that being said, um, I am going to do, I think actually with how like kind of subdued the cheeks and everything are now that I've blended it out, I'm going to go in with, um, I'm thinking probably Love Bug, which is like at the very top, there's this kind of brown orange shade. I'm gonna do a wide of that. And then I'm going to do Flirt, which is this uh, very, it's almost like the exact same shade as the blush that I use, but just a little bit pinkier. And I'm gonna do that for my outer corner. We're gonna see what that looks like and then see where we go from there. I hope you guys can definitely hear the lawnmower going on outside. It's actually not a lawnmower, it's a leaf blower, but uh, same difference, whatever. I hate it when the outside world doesn't account for the fact that we're filming. It's so rude. Uh, I'm liking this a lot. I'm just gonna be honest. I mean, it's, it, let me, okay. Let me do give the qualification that it is a little bit of a harder shade to pick up on the palette onto the brush. But you guys can see, I'm not really doing that much and it's still applying very well. Do you wanna know something funny? This eyebrow is my easier eyebrow to work with. 
This one just like has a mind of its own. But this eyelid, whatever is up with this eye, this eyelid is so easy to like do nice designs on and stuff. And then trying to make this little, this little man right here match. So like, I don't know, like I wish I just had like one good side of my face so that way I could just angle myself all the time. Like I just like, she, like I just like, this is my nice side of the face. But no, like it's like this eyebrows, this one's got his life together, this one's on drugs, and then like this one like dropped out of college and this one like has a PhD. I don't, I don't, I don't. That's been my, uh, it's been my first world problem rant of the day. Actually, no, that's the, that's the second first world problem. The first one would be the, the dude with his, uh, his air blower outside who just was like, not quitting, man. He's got hustle. I gotta hand it to him. He's out there. He's out there hustling. He's making moves. He's just blowing the leaves back and forth. He's just, he's just, 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 he's just in front of the window just blowing. <laughs> he's not even blowing leaves. He's just blowing up at the window like, like, big F you to me. <laughs> So I did uh, go ahead and clean up just a little bit of the eyeshadow. I went and did a cut crease using my Tarte Creaseless Shape Tape. And uh, now we have a wide variety of really pretty shimmer shades to choose from in this particular palette. There are six very large ones in the very center of it. All different shades, all different types. Honestly, I'm tempted to go in with three different ones. I'm not going to go in with all three. These are just the ones that I'm thinking might look cool. Uh, Kisses, because it's gold, and we did the gold highlight. However, the gold highlight didn't do a whole lot, so I, I don't think it's going to matter if we do gold or not. Buff, which is this one right here. It's like, I just, I don't know why I love it so much, but I just am very drawn to it. And then Admirer, which is this one right here. It's a little bit more pink, and I feel like it would go with kind of the eye look that we've started to create. So now I'm going to ponder for a second. We're going in with buff. I've just decided buff. Uh, I'm using my finger. You guys know how I feel about my finger, but I feel... I've discovered that it actually does work a lot better to apply glitter shades with your pointer finger normally rather than trying to use a brush. Not always, but it just typically is a little bit, a little bit more, um, I don't know. The word I'm looking for is, uh, escaping my, my brain at this moment. Back to pondering. Back to pondering. And there's a word, and I'm gonna think of it. No. No. <laughs> no, it's not about that. It's about preserving the color of it. I'm just gonna go back to my makeup now. Okay, so I really like this shade. I feel like actually this may be something that's actually a little bit easier to apply with a brush just because I feel like I am having to do a lot to get it on with my finger. I could be wrong. It's not that it's not picking up well. It actually is picking up beautifully. It's very creamy feeling. It's like when I'm looking at it on my finger, I'm like, yeah, it's all there. It's shiny. It's beautiful. The pigmentation's beautiful. And then it's like, as soon as it goes on, I'm like, eh, it's kind of, it's kind of gone. Um, I'm going to actually go in with just a touch of Admirer too, which is the pinker one and see if that will help bring out just a little bit of it. I do like them a lot. I really think that the finger application was not the right choice for this one. And so I will remember that in the future. I'm just going to go in and touch up the top just a little bit. I'm using a fair, which is kind of like a lighter version of that uh, outer corner shade. It's actually directly next to it in the pan. So it makes it easy to find. But overall, really pretty palette. I'm very happy with how this has turned out so far. I'm gonna do just a touch more um, to try and like do some highlights, um, both in the inner corner and on my brow bone. I'm gonna do a little bit of like lower lash um, eyeliner because I think that's actually going to make these eyes pop a little bit. And then we'll put on some mascara and we'll see what is going to happen with that. Okay, so this is the final look. I did a little bit of eyeliner. I did a little bit of mascara. I uh, touched it up with just like a little bit of like highlight from the palette and uh, yeah, really big fan with how the look turned out actually. Um, I know it doesn't really match my blue sweater today or my purple hair. Well, the purple hair kind of, but not really the blue sweater, but I don't care. Anyway, um, I really like the way the look came together. The Lime Crime palette is a good palette. Um, like I said, 
it's not something I feel like everybody needs in their collection. I have amassed a large quantity of makeup. So at this point, I'm just kind of like always looking for new stuff or unique stuff. And that's kind of why I wound up picking that one up. The Makeup Revolution one, there is no reason that if you have a, a desire to play with makeup, those are your color schemes. Um, you shouldn't look into Makeup Revolution, honestly. They have a ton of variety in colors, especially with this Precious Gems collection. They've got um, a lot of other palettes as well. They've got a lot of different, I, I haven't tried anything but their eyeshadow palettes, but they've got face palettes, they've got mascaras, they have um, foundations and, and concealers and pretty much everything in terms of makeup that you could need. So I would highly recommend looking into them as a company. Please sponsor me. What? Who said that? That's weird. I really, really like them. I, like I said, I discovered them just a little bit ago and I've been very pleasantly surprised with the um, quality in affordable products that they have been able to produce. So if you are looking for a way to break into the makeup community, you don't have a lot of resources to spend on expensive makeup right now, or you don't really have a desire to spend a ton of money on makeup, yet you know you wanna grab a couple nice statement eyeshadow palettes or something that you can use regularly or have when you wanna do special occasion things, I highly recommend looking into Makeup Revolution. There are a couple other brands that I recommend for that as well. BH Cosmetics is another big one. Right now, uh, Makeup Revolution just continues to impress me. Uh, a lot so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, I love doing first impressions I think that's probably going to be what our channel winds up evolving into is like we're gonna be doing I mean we do everything obviously you guys can tell we're just like a crazy medley of stuff but I really like the first impression stuff I think it's like a fun way for me to connect my hauls back to the channel so yeah uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up cuz uh, I need approval so please do that and if you really like the channel, then please subscribe because I really need approval and the, the subscribers, they, uh, they mean the world to me and I do mean that. They absolutely mean the world to me. Um, if you subscribe to this channel, I love you with all my heart and I would die for you. So now that it's gotten weird, uh, I hope you guys have a great day and you stay girly with a dark twist.